in all these years, uh, it was kind of eye opening if I can be real with y'all. Right. You know what I mean? It was. It was like uh, going into the gym. Gym was a little outdated. I mean, you guys went there. They got the people that went there. Um, going into the locker room, seeing some small, minor things change. Uh, I told Dre that I want to help. I want to help raise money. I want to help with the situation because. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. It's just us helping us. And that's all it is. It's the Memphis love. Yes. You know, going to Jackson and making it right for us. Yes. You know, and yes. uh, I've always given money back to different uh, charities and always give it back to the community. And now with these two brothers doing something special, Atlanta, I feel like the tide is changing. I feel like it's really changing. And I'm on board all the way with helping from the financial point of view. And hopefully you guys will be from that and taking trips to Jackson and, and, and supporting these brothers. And uh, we can definitely do that together. So that's the reason why I'm here. Um, didn't want it, it wasn't a party. It was a gathering for us to be able to celebrate Andre Turner, who is the new head coach. That's a, a well-known household name. Yes. Here. For him to take the challenge to go to Jackson, to you guys as alma mater, you know, the, the, the Lane community is strong in the city. We wanted to bring you guys together and kind of just start fighting for, you know, what was right to try to change the trajectory up there in, uh, in Jackson going into the right direction. So that's why I'm here. And I will not be long. I have to go to a wake and then I have to go back to my basketball camp. But just wanted to show up and be the first to say that I'm happy to be here and I'm happy to be along for this uh, this ride. And I am the first place he uh, given $50,000 to Lane Cole. And there's no pressure on anybody else. That's the fact. Hey, they said favor ain't fair, the young man got favor over there. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, that's, that's nothing to brag on. It's just I, I'm honored to do that. and. Uh, Looking forward to raising more and giving more because I feel like there needs to be change. Yes. All right, and next I'll bring up the athletic director, which is so crazy, who, who's been in my life a long time. I told him, I said, man, I didn't even know. This is how bad I am. I said, I didn't even know you were the athletic director at Lane. How did I not know that? <laughs> and we just hit it off, exchanged numbers, and he told me what he was going to, you know, what he thought about. And, you know, after uh, Coach Baysmore left, that he was thinking about bringing Andre, and I supported that. And then now that Dre is there, we got to – we gotta help him succeed. Because his right. heart is in the right place. He wants to leave that school better than where he came. Right. So, Derek Burroughs, you're at the end Woo! Yes! Hey guys, listen, you know, before I got before I got to Lane, um, you know, I've seen so many people, so many coaches use Lane as a stepping stone to go somewhere else. And I didn't want to do that. You know, I wanted to I wanted to make sure uh, whenever it was time for me to leave, um, I could leave Lane in a better place than it was when when I found it or when before I got there. And uh, you know something mom used to always say, you know, if I if I known better I would have done better. That's right. And, uh, a lot of you all don't know the state of our situation, and that's part of this this gathering is is to inform you that that we're we're in desperate need of funds to operate our athletic program. Uh, as Penny said, you know the the gym is outdated. Uh, uh, we don't we don't even have a scores table uh, for our basketball for our basketball team. The um, the football stadium is outdated, but that's another story. Okay. <laughs> Today we're talking about basketball. So I'm just here to appeal to the Lane College alumni, the people that's here, and hopefully you'll express to other alumni that we really, really, really need help. Yes. And we are so far behind everybody else. Uh, let me give you a classic example. Our sister school, Miles College, who is the same, close to the same student enrollment, same type school, ran by the CME Church, new stadium. Uh, you know, if you guys go online, you can see the new projects they have going on at Miles College. There's no reason why we should be this far behind in athletics. And this whole meeting and this whole uh, 
face to face is about addressing the needs of our athletic program. And I don't know if you know or not. You know, I don't know how many of you have been to campus lately. I don't know how many have seen the, the, the conditions of our athletic programs. We gotta get better. And uh, and and Penny, uh, again, who, who's, who I've known, I don't know, 25, 30 years, um, walked the campus and, and uh, he was kind of surprised that, uh, that, that our athletic program and our gym and our football stadium and our, you know, locker room kind of looked like it looked in 2021. So um, it touched his heart enough for him to donate $50,000 to help. Uh, and he said, Coach, I need to talk to Lane College alumni to say, to say, hey, listen, I am totally committed to uh, helping Dre and Lane College athletics and Lane College basketball, but I need to talk to the alumni. You know, I need to, uh, we need to have some skin in the game too. So this whole, th this thing for us is, is an appeal to if you haven't been on campus lately, if you haven't toured the basketball stadium, if you haven't toured the football stadium, you're playing a 96-year-old football stadium. Wow. 96 years. So after 96 years, I mean, when do we say when? I mean, a thousand years? I mean, I mean, do a, do a thousand years go by? And and we still in the same, I don't know. I mean, when when is a when when is when? So we really need your help. And uh, so this, 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 this guy I'm giving it to uh, came in, well, I came in a, a year or two before him at Memphis, but we've always, uh, we've always kept a great relationship. Uh, sometimes I tell our football players, the friends you build in college, they're, they're, they're lifelong lasting friends. And I build a relationship with Andre and, and over the years, um, uh, it, it has lasted over 25, 30 years. Amen. When the opportunity came for uh, for us to seek another basketball coach, the first person came to my mind was Andre Turner. Okay. And I knew that if I could get Andre here, this could change the whole, this this is a game changer. And, and I told some of our alumni, we need Andre Turner. Andre Turner don't need Lane. Lane needs Andre Turner. And you can see the, 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 the depth in which, um, you know, the vision in which we had uh, by having Penny Hardaway here and by having Penny to donate us $50,000. That's all because we hired our return. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I can, I can stand here forever and talk about Andre Turner, but uh, I'm, I'm going to let you let Andre t talk a little bit about himself and, and uh, what we're trying to do at Lane. And guys, really, we're trying to change this program. We're trying to change the face of this program. There's no reason why we should be 20 years behind everybody else. Say that, brother. So please help us. Yes. Okay. Uh, Andre, uh, come on up. Uh, now, Andre kind of favors Ralph Tresman, so don't, <laughs> <laughs> so don't think this is Ralph Tresman. Up here. <laughs> so, uh, Ronnie, Bobby, will you mind? <laughs> All right now, let's give him a hand, y'all. <laughs> Woo! Andre Turner, yes! Yeah, yeah, that's gonna work right there, just fine. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, after that such wonderful introduction by my AD, uh, I, I think he's been waiting for the opportunity to try to throw that little shot out there. <laughs> he, he, he throws it at me all the time. You know, good morning, Raph, if you see me, you know, at the, uh, at the complex. Uh, but first and foremost, uh, I, I just want to say thank you to everybody uh, who's in attendance today. Uh, it, it makes a difference, and it means a lot. It, it means a great deal that, that you took out the time, you know, of your day to participate, to just to be here, and, and knowing what this is. Uh, the, the, the plea and the pledge that we have going on. Uh, just want to say thank you for you know just being here today. Now, Derek talked about where we are right now, you know, with uh, with Lane College, and of course, this is I'm, I'm fresh and new, about <clears throat> two months in now. But but he didn't talk about 
the way Lane uh, was about 10 years ago, before he got there, uh, and, and things that he's done already uh, for the school. Uh, so he's been uh, extremely intricate in, in, in moving and pushing the envelope uh, for Lane College already. And just talking with him, I can hear you know, the frustration uh, at, at times about you know, wanting to do more, you know, trying to do more, uh, trying to seek situations and people and resources to be able to do more. And, and when I was hired, what I told him was that this, this is a holistic approach. Yes, yeah, about basketball, because that's what I'm hired to do. You, you guys have hired me to be the new head basketball coach. So I'm going to give everything that's within me to be the best basketball coach that I can. And of course, that means wearing uh, a lot of different hats. It's not just being a basketball coach, because when you are dealing with our young men, it's about being a mentor. It's about being a father figure to some. Uh, and so you're wearing a lot of different hats. And so I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, right along with, of course, my staff. Uh, uh, I'm ready to do just that. And so before I dive into just, just a little bit more, I, I want to introduce uh, my staff. Because uh, last week, uh, we had an event uh, and that I was at, and uh, the, it was a golfing deal. And, and I felt, I, I really felt some kind of way because I know where my help is going to come from. Uh, I know how important uh, that it is to have, you know, uh, uh, you know, Jesus on your side, but also the help that you need on that sideline and on that bench. You, you can't possibly do it all. And when you try as a head coach to try to think that, you know, you uh, they're great to be able to do everything by yourself and have a great team and a great season. Uh, you, you, you did wrong. It's, it's not going to happen. Uh, and so I know how blessed I am to have a good staff. Um, first, I'm going to introduce uh, my new assistant coach, uh, Barry Wellington. Uh, uh, Barry comes to us by the way of Christian Brothers last year, but Barry's been in the uh, been in the, uh, the coaching game for the last eight years. Uh, he's 33 years old, and man, uh, uh, my other coach and I were talking to Barry, and asking questions and about certain players and about certain schools, and, 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 and he was just spitting them out, and we were looking at each other like, he's a walking on in that game. So it's about all the schools, all the players. But, but it's true, and, and you have to have somebody with a lot of energy, with a lot of uh, get up and go about them, uh, a lot of excitement, and, and that's what this is. Uh, so my conversations uh, with Barry uh, before uh, I made the decision to hire him uh, were, were, were great conversations. And he, he impressed me each time more uh, when we talked. And uh, not knowing that when I was talking about hiring Barry, uh, and I mentioned my strength conditioning coach, my player development coach, Barry started laughing. He just busted out the laughing. I was like, why are you laughing so much, Barry? I know Coach Clear well. I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. So I messed around and got two guys from Treadwell High School on my video. So, so now it's two, or one, two against one, you know, with them, uh, you know, on my side. So I have to be careful. Uh, but, but they have to be careful, too, because they have to remember that I'm the head coach. <laughs> but uh, my strength conditioning guy has been with me uh, for a lot of years. Uh, coach Clear uh, was at Mitchell when we were making our run, our first our state championship. And our guys, when I tell you, uh, the top physical condition and, and ready to play and, and ready to play for a full game, uh, Coach Clear did that. He, and, and Coach Clear has an excitement about him, too, uh, when it comes to the guys. And, and the guys that know him, they, they already know. And the ones that don't, they'll learn uh, that, uh, you know, he's about what he's doing. Uh, and, and he has his way of doing it. But uh, I'm thrilled to have Coach uh, Michael Clear along with me uh, at Lane College as well. We can coach Michael Clear too. All right now. Um, but, but to kind of dive uh, back into the reason why we're here, um, uh, you have to have support. And, and guys, you all just being here today means that you know, you're, you're ready and willing to support. And, uh, it's extremely important because I've had support all my life. In everything that I've done, I've been uh, supported. So that's why I'm here today. I, I'm, I'm, I'm here because I've uh, been riding on a lot of shows. I've had a lot of individuals that have poured into me, that have pushed me, uh, that have enabled me to be and do uh, you know, what I'm doing and, and where I am today. Uh, uh, my family, my 
uh, my mom is here today, and, uh, and and my big brother and his wife Lynn. But uh, my mom, you know, back in the Memphis State days, she she had a Andre's mom uh, yeah. sweat shirt sweat shirt on, and yeah. so you knew, you yeah. know, there, there was mom there, and even my grandma, who's not here uh, anymore with us, but of course she's here uh, in spirit and watching down. But they were super supportive. Uh, in my basketball endeavors and, and was there along with me all the time along and, and my family you know I told you know I, I, I tell the story I know a lot of folks uh, with that number 10 I, I just had to have number 10 and you know you grow up and uh, you know I, I watched Walt Frazier who was uh, you know was a great uh, NBA great who was number 10 in New York and uh, a, a lot of other guys that were number 10 and it was like so why did you have to have that number 10 well I, I had to get number 10 because my big brother wore number 10. And, and I knew that, but Brian wore number 10, so I wanted the number 10 because my big brother, not, not because he's great to wore number 10, because he was great in, in my eye, and right you know, I watched him and my big brother Kevin, you know, as they you know, grew and was playing basketball, so that's why I had to have my number 10, because my big brother wore number 10. And so, uh, yeah, that was, it was important to me to, you know, to be able to have that number. Um, but uh, I, I've been super supported my entire life, and then, uh, I, you know, I get to high school and I meet my high school sweetheart, and and, and you talk about you talk about support. Good Lord, she's been through that. You know, she was a high school sweetheart, then she became the college sweetheart, then she became the wife, and then she became the mother, and then she became the grandmother. Oh wow! Super supportive, man. All these little bitty spots that I've been in. Every single spot that I've been in, my wife has been there with bells on. And not, oh Lord, do we have to go here? No, no. When do we have to go? Uh, when do we have to be there? And, and she's been there, super supportive all the time. And uh, and, and my kids are blessed for it uh, because she's been there. And you know, it, it, you know, it makes a difference to have you know parents at home, you know, with the kids. And so um, I'm blessed to have uh, my, uh, my my best friend. Uh, you know, my as they say, my ride and die. She, you know, she, you know, she, that's her. You know, she's been there. Uh, and then you talk about my two assistant coaches here that I have, but, but Lord, I got about five other assistant coaches that are at every game, and I have three of them sitting right here right now. My my three daughters, uh, Miss Jasmine and Carmen and Mariah, two of my other two babies are, are not here right now. I, I, hopefully they'll uh, show up before it's over, but they are real coaches. Yeah, because in, in high school, I come back. You know, after a game, and, and you know, my daughter's, you know, be like, so, so Dad, why did you play him so long? You know, because now that he was slow tonight, he really was slow. You, but you left him on the court, and so, you know, so that's why we lost. You know? <laughs> but, but, but my daughters, they enjoy coming to the game. None of them play basketball now. My wife and I, we're basketball junkies. We, we played basketball our whole lives. You know, my wife was a little tumble. I mean, we, we, you know, basketball was our thing. But none of these rats have played basketball. But, but, but they played soccer, you know. Okay. And all three of those right there, they, they were soccer bus. And so they would have their crazy dad running up and down the sideline cheering and have their uh, teammates ask after the game, so who is the crazy man that's running up and down the sideline? You know, and, uh, you know, they were, that's our dad. You know, sometimes, you know, they were, that's our dad, though. But, but, but I've been supported. I've been supported, and I want that support to continue. And, and I know Derek has talked about, you know, things that, uh, you know, we have and things that we need and uh, things that we want to see change. And, and that can happen. That, that can happen. But uh, it, it has to be, you know, footsteps taken. It just can't be a bunch of conversation. You know, individuals have to be willing. And, and, and it's not you, you have to go into your pocket and say, okay, yeah, I'm going to give $100,000. Oh, I'm going to give $50,000 right now. But... But, but the support, and sometimes just being there, you don't understand about time, you know, uh, time is, is, is support big time as well. Uh, but uh, we want to see things happen better. We, we want to see uh, progress made. And uh, as, as, you know, Pete was saying earlier that uh, when, when I leave Lane, and, and it's going to happen, you know, uh, maybe a long time down the road, uh, whatnot, but because I'm excited about what it is uh, that's about to happen, and I, because I know something great that's, that's, that's in the call, is in the cards, and I, and I know I'm about to be a part of it because the support uh, system that I have uh, is going to be there. Uh, but uh, 
when you leave a place, you want to leave a place better than when you found it. And, and that's absolutely my idea. When I leave Lane, I want them to say that Coach Turner, his staff, and his support group, I mean, they left Lane in a better place. And so whoever's, you know, up, you know, on deck next have to keep that uh, trajectory going. They have to make sure that, you know, we continue to try to better the situation. So um, not to just drag on and, 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 and keep us, uh, you know, even longer, but I know there's going to be, uh, uh, Mr. Green's going to come. Uh, and uh, introduce uh, Ms. Halliburton, but uh, I plead and, and, and I ask that uh, you support that when you have an opportunity, get, get in the car and, and take that 45, uh, 45 minute hour drive and, and, and fill those stands up. I'm telling you that what that does to young men or and young women when they see those stands filled up with people that are making noise for them when, when they're when doing well and then encourage them when the things are not going so well uh, makes a world of difference. And so I'm, I'm giving all of me. I'm giving every single cent uh, that I have in me uh, to do everything that I, I can. And I know my sister coaches are on board because we're talking all the time about what it is that we can do, how we can make things better. Okay, get in touch with this guy. So we're, you know, we're on the recruit trail and, and uh, we're, we're burning the phone up. And so, because we want to put the best possible product on that floor, and so that you all will be proud to say, okay, we, we support it. We, we will support it. So, hey, my dollars or, or my time and my efforts are part of what that is going on out there on that basketball floor at Lane College. So, uh, I, I implore you to, 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 to make sure that you uh, continue to support. Keep us in your prayers, you know, because we, we, we talk about a lot of things, but I'm telling you, that, that's going to definitely be a part of what it is that we're doing. Because a lot of our young men, they miss out because we don't want to talk about, you know, the spiritual side and what that yeah. means to building up young men and what that Say means that. to their lives. Because what, we're, what, we're, or what we are right now is about building life skills. Because once they leave here now, it's real world. You know, high school, you look forward to college. And you know, like I did, and I you know, had those four years of college, and those were the four years that really kind of scoped and molded me. Uh, but when you leave college, it's, it's lifetime now. It's, it's, it's trying to get a job or it's, you know, continuing to, the guys have enough talent to go to the next level of basketball to, you know, make money. But, but it's about building life skills uh, with these young men. And so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pouring all of me into uh, these young men. And, I, and I'm sure, uh, as I've said before, my coaching staff, are, uh, they're on board, you know, 1,000%. And, uh, man, we just ask that you guys continue to support us, love all us, pray for us. And uh, we're going to have a great time. And, uh, man, I'm, I'm a dragon already. I'm a lay night already. All right. I like that. So I thank y'all so much for being out here. message from Millicent Nelson, who is a Lane College alumnus, a graduate, supporter, a good friend, and she's sending me a thousand dollars contribution to uh, that message. I would also like to recognize Mrs. Common Earl Dance, I should say Dr. Dance. She is the local alumni president. We are hoping that today is just the start of something big. We already got an event planned for September. The Penny just told me that uh, before he left is that he'll get the venue if I can get people to come out once a month. All right, and, now. And, uh, That's wonderful. And to make this thing come. I have with me Mrs. Uh, Tori Halliburton. She's the former director of alumni affairs at Lane College. She no longer works for the college, but she's still. <laughs> but 
I just re-employed her today. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to head, head up our fundraising efforts. And so she's going to speak to you briefly, and then we're going to go ahead and have a good time. Uh, in the back of the room, uh, Mrs. Turner was going to have your room, uh, a table set up, where if you are uh, interested in uh, getting season tickets to get on the list, if you're interested in joining the Booth Club, she would take the, the uh, get all that information with you today too. I'm excited, looking forward to having a good time. All right. All Thank you, Mr. Green, and thank you all for joining us. Um, after Reverend Coach Turner, I don't know what else I can add, <laughs> but I'll add a little bit. Uh, this, this really means a lot to us, for you to come and support our alma mater. And if you're not a graduate of Lane, you're a friend of Lane, which makes you even more special for being here. Um, I'll be brief, and I just want to let you all know that you have an envelope. Uh, we're not going to treat it like church. Uh, Penny started with 50 and then others have given. For me, it's not what you give, but it's how you give it. Amen. So if you give to Lane College and you give $5, we can make that $5 grow. All you have to do is ask others to do the same. So we thank you for supporting us. Uh, if you have questions about our student athletes, because they're students first. Our overall goal is to see them graduate right and get now. degrees, play basketball if they can. If not, we want them to be successful citizens of our, right. of our, of our nation, of the world, and wherever they uh, go after that. So we just thank you for your support. Uh, we are soliciting more donations. If you paid the $20, $30 to get in, thank you. But you all know the more the better. Uh, we just want you to have a good time. This is not a funeral. This is a happy occasion, yes, so we're going to listen to the band, yes. we're going to dance, we're going to talk, and if you have questions about Lane College and how you can support Lane College, Coach Burroughs will be happy to help you. Thank you. Go Dragons. <laughs> Now it's time for the band. All righty now. Woo. Come on, band. <laughs> Woo Gerald Richardson. Yes, you guys. Let's welcome the band, y'all. <laughs> Mr. Gerald Richardson. <laughs> to make one announcement. If you decide to leave a donation, you can leave it on the table and I'll be walking around to pick those up so we can secure those. So if you would like to leave a donation, just leave it in here and you will receive a tax deductible uh, receipt. We will mail that to you. So thank you. This is Amphra at the Yams Talk Show. We are here live at the Peabody. Y'all give me a favor. Y'all give it up for Coach Turner. All right, now. Let me tell y'all something. I was, a, I was a little bitty boy. Say it now. He was almost in college. So I'm a young, I'm a, I'm a lot younger than that dude, man. But he was a good dancer. Y'all want to see Coach Turner dance? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man, my name is G. Rich, man. This is my band, Chemistry. We're going to be in entertainment for a while, and I don't mind if y'all get up here and dance. Now, just don't come up here. Good job, you did. Y'all Andre's kids? Wow. Y'all play soccer? Why oh, y'all ain't play basketball? Y'all ain't got no jump shot? This dude right here is a personal trainer. It ain't never too late. Let's go. All right, now. This is chemistry, you guys. Be free. This is Joe Richardson. Thank you. 
Someone else is still me Oh, it seems to know 